Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Aisha's Take. I know this issue has been spoken about so much by different people and there have been so many takes. But I just felt, I just needed to express myself on this. It's something that is so disappointing. Uh, it's on the issue of uh, Charles Soludo and the statement he made on uh, Peter Obi. Honestly, Soludo is such, is such a disappointment. Just hearing that from him, I mean, for me, the, the most important thing in the whole of that issue was the fact that that statement was unprovoked. You know, there are certain things that you say, okay, the person was now speaking, there was something that provoked it or something. So I, don't, I just don't get it. He could have decided not to answer that question. He could have answered it away. Even the way he was like, oh, I came here to talk about the, the budget and you're here bringing Peter up. You know, you could just see it, it reeked so much. Should I call it envy? It's what my people call Agbokolomialu. I just don't get it. And how some people call that Hasada. Whether it's envy, whether it's jealousy, I don't get it. This is someone who is running for president. And it's from your state. And you know, there's even if it's not the same party, sometimes there's that ownership. I, I don't know. If, even if... And this is someone that during his campaign, he used this person very well. When you were talking about, oh, the good things that Apka had done, Peter Obi had done this, had done that, had done this, had done that, had done that. And then all of a sudden, you're coming out now to say that, oh, the investment, whatever, is next to nothing and all of that. And I just love the way citizens have really gone documenting and telling him, okay, let's do comparison. Today, the Nigerian Naira is next to nothing. So that means it's your fault because you were once CBN governor. And that was, it's, it's almost with the CBN governor, his own tenure, and MFL. I think it's the, almost, yeah, it's the same thing. Because after Soludo, was when uh, uh, Sanusi Lamido Senusi came in as governor, and then we have MFLA that is such a disaster in office right now. So it will not be that, oh, okay, then we will not be blaming Soludo for the Nera, for what's happening to the Nera now. It's just so, it's just so, it's just so something else. But the thing that I see, which I see for, for my own view, and this is Aisha's take on the whole issue of you find out that the southeastern political elite most of them are not are not in support of peter Obi, which is which is okay peter Obi is not a southeastern candidate he's a nigerian candidate and that's it we've adopted and i'm sure you guys saw what happened in edo state my home <laughs> you know when we tell you people i don't know they carry last and i know they hear anyway that's not what i want to talk about now it's basically on this uh, 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 Ch uh, Charles Soludo statement. So the thing is this. So I, my own take, I just take on this is the fact that the political elite from the southeastern region feel that yes, power is going to come to the southeast, you know, later on, because at least it will be glaringly obvious that there's discrimination. And now, so they are biding their time, waiting for when the power comes, and then they will be the beneficiaries. So probably for people like Soludo or whatever, in the next eight, eight, eight years, when it gets to them, then they will not be the beneficiary. But now that they're saying this is not about the quota for the Southeast or whatever, this is about a candidate who is competent, who happens to be from the Southeast. And so they are not getting it. They are just all over the place and angry. And they are not even hiding their anger and envy and jealousy and whatever it is that you may call it. It's it's so it's so it's so glaring. And it it's just it's just really it's just something else. Because I don't understand why people feel that they have to be the one to do something. For me, anybody that I see that feels like he's the only one who can be there or the, the one that should be, there are certain things that even if you're the one that should be, but you find out that, okay, well, it's not working out in your favor, but there's someone else that that person can get there. Support the person, get the person there, let's get the job done. At the end of the day, the major thing should be who is going, 
what's going to work best for Nigeria. But then most of these people really don't have the issue of Nigeria in their mind. All they care about is their own personal, uh, personal growth or personal gain or, and stuff like that. And they are not seeing it. They are really glad that people are standing up. People uh, are, not, are not just taking this lying down. Uh, enough of those times that politicians felt that they owned the political terrain in Nigeria. There are a group of Nigerian citizens who are saying, no, it's time for the people to finally own the political terrain. And I hope as um, as we go on, this this matures. This, this, this gets into, you know, becomes the norm in Nigeria, where it is the citizens that have the power, not few political big wigs. So that's it. Thank you. Bye.